Fitness. How are you doing today? I believe you are doing fantastic. We want to continue from lesson number 29 from part 2. Mind and soul, their relation to the body. And this lesson 29 um, is born of the virgin. Born of the virgin. We were discussing the journey of spirit through matter and its goal. This knowledge is valuable to students at your stage of evolution. You have learned the truth of being, your higher calling, and some of the first steps in the great path. When a traveler is going into a strange country, he is sometimes brought to a seeming stop by huge tracts of forest land, tremendous rivers and mountainous heights. The spiritual life has up to the present been one shared with others of like thought and habit as yourselves. Some of you are asking further on. And some of you are seeking further on. And this means that you are called as Abraham was alone and in faith. Only the called see the burning bush and hear the great I am. One of the obstacles we want to help you to overcome is the mystery of the incarnation or as we stated at the first, the journey of the spirit. Mm. So the incarnation is the journey of the spirit. As we journey into the spirit, what we are journeying into is the realization of our incarnation into the flesh. So to woman and to woman alone came this understanding and it will be again revealed to the feminine in this new age. Hmm. Woman is having true, having her true place in revelation and prophecy. And to women shall the great mystery be made known. You have learned through previous lessons that there is perfect unity between God and man. This consciousness is slowly and surely dawning over the whole earth. It is. Now, only by keeping this truth in mind can you comprehend our lesson. Even as God and man are one, so also there must of a necessity be one only. And in this one is the all manifesting through every channel. God is the two in one of both natures ever self-creating and the ultimate end of our race is unity. All life was symbolized by the life of Jesus Christ in every particular. Mm. He said all life was symbolized by the life of Jesus Christ. That means everything we are supposed to 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 do to live the essence of existence was made manifest in that one man 
Jesus, the Christ of God. He came of the perfect unity of the two natures. Mary symbolizes this truth. And here we would say, lest any error by worship or undue adoration of type or personality, and that Mary was the body of flesh that was simply used for this holy manifestation, and for the teaching of the world, and not because of her separate wealth. So it's not because she was wealthy, she was special than any other woman who existed in that time. For there were many virgins, and yet grace and favor found her. Seeing that the outer self is a separation, it cannot be known as the complete self. Mm. So if we have understood from chapter 1 or um, part 1, the truth of being and um, matter and its relation to the spirit and all of the uh, various lessons, we will come to this understanding that the outer self represents a separation. So whenever we focus on the outer self, we are focusing rather on separation, right? So in other words, what he's trying to teach us is that if we focus on Mary as an outer self, as a, as a physical being, we will create a separation. We will miss the essence of what she symbolizes, right? And so we have to focus on not because Mary was a special being, but it was just grace that found her to use her as a manifestation. So let's go on. So the race is rising to a knowledge of the purity of God, and the sinlessness and love, mm. wherein is harmony. And some here and there are learning that the age of passion and desire and lust is passing away. There is stealing over men's heart the love nature of God. It is through our love nature that we learn the complete allness of God. For he is making of the twin as one flesh. This is the marriage of the two natures. Jesus Christ was born directly from the two, which is in one. As he willingly chose to take up the life on earth from the very beginning, in every way he stands for our race as man. And yes, Jesus was God incarnated and we shall be like him. He was creative. His seed is in all. And the holy child must first be born in you, my goodness. Mm. The holy child must first be born in you. Ere you can comprehend this mystery. Mm. As the holy child is first born in you, then you can comprehend this mystery. Mm. For life is a spiritual essence. Birth is a spiritual fact, invisible at present to a mortal eye. Jesus of the Nazareth was God, man, coming by the path of the one body of flesh. Let us make quite clear that God has always been manifest in the world. The coming of Jesus was the symbol of the supreme wholeness and perfection of man hmm. Hmm. by the Christ of God. I will take it again. God has always been manifest in the world. And the coming of Jesus was just a symbol of the supreme wholeness and the perfection 
of man by the Christ of God. So learn by this wondrous life the love of God and the great unity. I and the Father are one. When you have risen out of your false belief in separateness and know in your heart that God is all in all, then and then only will you glide out of the false consciousness of sin and of suffering and of pain, leaving it like a worm, a worn out garment rising into pure life, renewed and regenerated. Therefore, our next lesson will be mind and its possibilities. But let me take this last part again. He said, when you have risen out of your false belief that you are separate from God, and you have come to this place when you know in your heart that you are one with God and that God is all and in all. He said then and then only will you be able to come out of the false consciousness of sin and of the suffering and of pain. And you will leave that kind of consciousness where you think always of sin and you are thinking of your life being a suffering and that everything around you is of pain. Hmm. He said you will rise into a purer life, a life that is renewed and regenerated and that is how you become born of a virgin. May the Lord bless you. Even in the name of the Christ of God. And his name is Jesus. Please, I believe this has been one powerful one. Please listen to it again. Uh, some of these, when you hear it once, sometimes it looks like you... Um, are not getting it or you might miss some things but if you listen to it twice and even sometimes three times i'll be honest with you although i am the one reading it i go back and i listen to them um, and i always get blessed when i go back to it so please um join this conversation something is happening we've been having testimonies already about how this is being a blessing to so many people. Please, if you have a testimony, share it. Um, if you have my contact, you can um, send it to me via text or WhatsApp. If not, post it in the comment uh, on whatever platform you are listening to it on. We are sharing this on Facebook, on um, all the podcast platforms, on YouTube um, as well. So, whatever platform you are listening to it on please let's hear how this has been a blessing and the life transformation bringing you to the place where the christ in you is arising god bless you please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next lesson mind and its possibilities have a blessed day bye bye